video, I'm going to show you how to make a montage in Photoshop. What is a montage? A montage is an image created by putting together a number of photographs. Here's an example <clears throat> created by David Hockney in the 1980s of a chair. He took many pictures of the chair, made prints of each of those pictures, and put them together on a large piece of paper, showing us a view that sort of an exploded chair. Here he's exploded a desk, taking many pictures of a desk, bringing the film he shot, this is film in the 1980s, film he shot to a photo lab where they made him four by six prints of each picture he took and he positioned those pictures on a large piece of paper. We're going to be doing the same sort of thing where we take uh, our images and put them on a large work surface, which in Photoshop is not a piece of paper, but instead a large image. So we're going to open Photoshop, we're going to run Photoshop, and in Photoshop we're going to go to File, New, and our new document we're going to make quite large. Let's change our unit of measure to pixels and make it 10,000 by 10,000 or 20,000 by 20,000 and you'll get a large white square. You'll get a white square. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our images. One way to place images is to um, drag and drop from Finder. So I'm going to open up a Finder window here and I'm going to go ahead and I'll find some pictures that I have. Um, drag one right in here. Uh, and I always need to commit, which is press return on my keyboard, or if you prefer to click, you can click on this check right here, commit. Boom, boom. Give it a second, and now it's placed. Um, we can drag and drop from Bridge, so say you're using Bridge and you have your pictures ready for you in Bridge, you can just click and drag from Bridge, bum bum, right into Photoshop, and commit it, always commit. Um, and then it'll be there. What we're doing right now is um, the file uh, place embedded command. Um, and if you want to actually click through that, you could go to um, right here. Uh, file place embedded opens up a dialog box where you want to locate your picture in. I mean, I find this to be a little clunkier, but I could still go through this way and find a picture here and place it. Oops, let me click place right there. Commit that always. Commit your trend, your um, place and your um, in your next step we're going to be resizing and rotating. Every time we do one of those commands we need to commit. So how do we resize, rotate, and reposition? We use the move tool. The move tool is located at the top of our toolbox in Photoshop. Go ahead and make sure you have Auto Select Group checked and Show Transform Controls checked. And then click on one of your images, it's what we call a layer, and drag it. You'll see it move. Click on another layer and drag it. It will move. And so on. If I want to um, resize one of my layers, I can by clicking and dragging on a corner handle. Hold down shift while you do it to resize proportionately. If you want to rotate, by the way, if you want to say you like that, you could commit it. If you want to do something further, um, like rotate, you can then go ahead and move your mouse pointer outside a handle, click and drag, and your layer will rotate. When you're happy with the result, click the commit button or press return on your keyboard. If you want to um, change the size of your workspace, you can use the crop tool right here to make your workspace smaller or even make it larger. Press enter to commit that. And if you like the results of whatever you've done, I'm going to crop it down to this. You could go ahead and save your work. Go to uh, in Photoshop, File, Save, 
and save it as a PDF file. I'm going to call this Montage 2. Save. And if I want to see it <clears throat> in Finder before I close Photoshop, which is a habit of mine, I like to go ahead and make sure that Montage 2 is actually there. It hasn't shown up yet. What's going on? Aha! There it is, finally. Just give it some time. <coughs> it's a 230 megabyte picture. It takes a little bit of time to save and to load. Anyway, that is making a montage in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.